Fox 2 News starts now. Body parts are found in a vacant lot on the Detroit's east side. The human remains had been dumped along several spots on the same street. Fox 2's Alexis Wiley is live in the neighborhood where that disturbing discovery was made. Alexis. Well, actually, one of the arms was found in this yard behind me. It was just found just lying in the weeds there. Now, police still are trying to determine who did this, and they're trying to identify the victim. It's gruesome. That's what it is. It's gruesome. Gruesome doesn't begin to describe what people in this Detroit neighborhood discovered early Monday morning. He picked it up with a bag. They said, hold it up. Say, look what I found. And what was it that he was holding? A leg. A leg. Yeah, but it looked like a woman leg because it was stuck the footy, you know, that she had on, a white footy. Detroit police later found two arms on the same block, one of them in front of this house. The body parts were dark in complexion, suggesting the victim may have been African American. The sick discovery has left police with a lot of unanswered questions. We only know that these limbs were dropped off in, in specific areas down the street from each other, but. Um, at this point, we're not we're not able to find any torso or any uh, head at this particular time. And they're still working to identify the victim, but they're hoping fingerprints and DNA offer those much needed answers. Neighbors like Grant are praying they catch the people behind this before more body parts show up in their neighborhood. A lot of this is going to depend on the medical examiners, and, and the medical examiners have the abilities to hopefully determine maybe some DNA. But it, you know that takes a while if that's the only way that you can. Uh, identify someone. Drug abuse and prostitution are a major problem in this neighborhood. This investigation is still in the very, very early stages. We'll let you know what detectives uncover. Live on Detroit's East Side, I'm Lexis Wiley, Fox 2 News.